total devastation. Just sat there in silence, to be honest. And then spoke to somebody and we realised we could do telephone orders and um, took it from there. We didn't really have much option. Um, I was devastated at the start, but I think after a while it seemed all right because it was time off work. However, after um, some time, I wanted to get back to work because I was a bit bored of you know sitting at home, not really doing anything. I just wanted to get back and doing the job that I like. By making sure they didn't mix too much um, for the staff, um, by making sure they were working in a spacious environment, which luckily we can do here. And for the customers, we limited the parking to 50 car parking spaces, as opposed to in the past where it was probably heading for 150. Um, so we did that. And more recently, we have built some fairly large enclosures around the tills, um, which go eight foot high to make sure the till staff are totally and utterly protected. I felt fairly safe because the measurements that have been put into place, such as the screens around the tills, there was always masks and gloves available and the social distancing made it um, a safer place to be and the way that the actual company and the management de dealt with the situation seemed very professional so I was fine to come back. It's the feeling that most of the measures aren't really based on science, that um, a lot of it was political. Um, you kind of felt that there was focus groups that they were using to see where the measures should be. Um, I can't believe there was that many people that, or anybody that contracted COVID by walking around a garden centre. Um, and yet we had to close. The demand for gardening products has risen dramatically, um, but the capacity wasn't there to meet that. Um, if you look at compost as an example, sales so far this year across the country are up 65%, but they only have capacity for a 15% increase. So it's my strong belief that at some point, um, people will start to run out of compost. We won't. Um, because we've already full booked it. Um, getting plants in, everybody's been gardening basically. And so trying to get anything in, plants and everything, is proving much, much harder. And then the final complication, which nobody needed, um, is the problems of trying to get shipping containers in, um, which is a COVID related problem. Um, and that has driven shipping rates through the roof. we would have sold more. Um, we, November was a nightmare. It was the worst time ever. Um, I have, basically we were getting so much grief because we were so busy, even though we were doing no adverts. Um, and then it didn't help when the local residents who were complaining about the traffic queues posted it on various websites which made it into the newspaper. Um, which then meant even more people wanted to come down to see what was going on. Um, and it just made it very difficult because whereas normally we manage the flow of customers, um, people were upset about the traffic flow, but their actions was actually making the problem worse. Um, but we never advertised for Christmas and we will, I have no doubt, in 2021, sell massively more Christmas than we did in 2020. At the start it seemed all right because I got time off work but after about uh, three weeks it seemed really difficult and I just wanted to get out doing something that was useful and um, you know doing the thing that I enjoy doing. Um, I think the business became a lot leaner um, we 
Whereas maybe things we tolerated in the past all disappeared, um, it's become much more focused. I feel the staff have become much more focused. Um, and I feel that as we come out of this, I've got a much better business now than before I went into it. And I feel that the staff have got, um, I think the staff have got a much better business to work in as well.